Welcome to A Taste of Torah with Rabbi Carol. So last week I was talking about how nice it was to have some warm weather, and a week later it, it's a little chilly again here on Long Island. But God is good, whether it is warm or cold outside. And so I want to share with you this weekend we start uh, the book of Bami Bar Numbers. And we are looking at the first Aliyah of each uh, weekly Parsha. And so when we look at the first part of Numbers chapter 1, we see that God uh, takes a census. And sometimes it's difficult for people to read through the book of Numbers and, and the genealogies listed in uh, this section and in other sections of the Bible. But I think there are a couple of important things that we can take from uh, these genealogies and this numbering, especially here in Bobby Bar Numbers chapter 1. And uh, we talk about this with uh, our kids uh, when we do our lesson on this Aliyah. The first thing is that uh, God appoints leaders. So uh, as God is going through the different tribes and uh, enumerating them, he lists the leaders for each one. And I think it's important to understand that uh, having leaders over us is something that is not optional. You know, I know that... Uh, in our society today, people want to do what they want to do and uh, have our freedoms, and I'm all for freedom, trust me, I believe in, in, in our, our right to liberty and freedom. But God has always established order, and we see that even here in the, the Tanakh, and, and leadership is placed in our lives uh, for accountability, to be a source of encouragement, and to help us get from where we are to where God wants us to be. So I want to encourage you, if you are not submitted to a leader, uh, a congregation, uh, you need to consider doing so because it's biblical, and we see it not just here in Mabin Bar, but all throughout the, the, the scriptures. And the second principle that I see in this passage is that every individual matters for God. So he lists these names of people. People who we don't hear about anymore. I mean, uh, these people uh, don't get to go on and do uh, uh, awesome things like uh, Moshe and Aharon and Joshua and Caleb. Uh, but God took the time to list them, even though we might not hear about any of them anymore besides their name being listed here. And sometimes you may feel insignificant and you may feel like you're just a name on a piece of paper. But God wants you to know that you are important to him. And everyone matters uh, to him, and everyone matters in life. You are uniquely and wonderfully made, and no one could ever, ever take your place. So I just want to wish you a Shabbat Shalom. Uh, we are less than a week away from Shavuot. And can I tell you, please join us next Thursday night, May 25th at 7 o'clock, as we celebrate Shavuot. And we are expecting God to do something mighty and awesome. He wants to impart a fresh touch to every single person. I'm ready. I want to receive everything that God wants to give to me. So I hope you will join us next Thursday. But come tomorrow, 11 a.m., exit 61 of the Long Island Expressway. And if you're not here on Long Island, you can join us, as always, on Facebook or YouTube for our service. So God bless you. Shabbat Shalom.